In this example, we want to find the partial derivative of the multiple variable function using the limit approach. Okay, so we're, we want to, in this case, we want to find the partial of z with respect to x. Okay, so the, so the definition that we're going to use is that, okay, we have the partial z with respect to x. And this is going to be equal to the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x y divided by delta x. So this definition is very similar to the uh, definition of the of the um, or the definition for the uh, derivative of, of a function of one variable. Okay. So the first thing is we need to evaluate the function at, at x plus delta x. Plug that in. And then subtract from f of, subtract that with f of x y, and then divide by delta x, then take the limit. Okay, so we're going to have the so let's see. let's go ahead and first figure out f of x plus delta x. So let's do that over here. Um, so plugging that all that in, okay, we're going to get two times. And let me let's move this over. I'm going to need some space for this part. Okay. So f of x plus delta x. Okay. So again, this z. So z is my uh, z represents f of x y. So I'm going to evaluate. I'm going to evaluate this function at x of plus delta x. So this is going to be two times x plus delta x squared minus 4 times x plus delta x squared times y cubed plus y to the fourth. Okay. All right. So all this, all of this is going to go into here. Okay. Right. So then we're going to get, so then we have the limit of delta x as delta x goes to 0 of 2 times x plus delta x squared minus 4 times x plus delta x squared times y cubed plus y to the fourth power minus the original function, which is given up here. So it's minus 2x squared minus 4x squared y cubed plus y to the fourth. Okay, and all this is divided by delta x. Okay, so now we get Okay, so expanding all this out. Okay, we're going to get x squared plus So I'm going to multiply to multiply this out. So this is going to be x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Okay, and again, multiplying this out. Okay, we're going to get okay, minus 4 times x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared times y cubed okay, plus y to the fourth power okay and then I'm going to go ahead and distribute the sign there so we have minus 2x squared plus 4x squared y cubed minus y to the fourth okay and this is all divided by delta x okay so then we get limit as delta x goes to zero um, okay so we're going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and distribute the two here so we're going to get 2x squared plus 4x delta x plus 2 times delta x squared okay let me move this down so it makes some space here okay 
Okay, minus, okay, so I have a four and a y cubed here. So I'm gonna have minus four x squared y cubed minus eight x y cubed times delta x and then four minus four times y cubed delta x squared. Okay. Plus the remaining part. So y to the fourth minus two x squared plus four x squared y cubed minus y to the fourth, all divided by delta x. Okay, so let's move this down. So then you get the limit as delta x goes to zero, okay. Uh, there should be some terms that cancel out, uh, just like uh, with the derivative of the uh, function of one variable, things are gonna cancel out. So you have here, this cancels out, two x squared cancels out. Um, the four x squared y cubed cancels out and y to the fourth cancels out. So now each term has uh, delta x involved. So then let's rewrite this. This is gonna be four x delta x plus two times delta x squared minus eight x y cubed delta x again to make some space here okay okay um, let's see so delta x let's see a x y cubed delta x minus four y cubed times delta x squared Okay, all this is divided by delta x. Okay, so now let's go ahead and factor out delta x. So factoring out delta x, we get 4x plus 2 times delta x minus 8xy cubed minus 4y cubed times delta x. Okay, all right, so, so then, okay, delta x will cancel out. So we have the limit as delta x goes to zero of four x plus two delta x minus eight times x y cubed minus four y cubed delta x. So as delta x goes to zero, we end up getting four x, four x minus eight x y cubed. Okay. All right. So therefore, uh, this is right the partial. The partial z with respect to x is equal to 4x minus 8xy cubed. Okay. So there's a uh, much easier way to do this. Um, and that's, I'm going to demonstrate that in the next few examples. Okay. So this is what we have, okay? So this was taking the partial z respect to x using this limit definition, okay? And we end up getting 4x minus x, sorry, 4x minus 8x times y cubed.